Quality culture is an outgrowth of the discussion that resulted from the FDA's quality metrics program. As PDA worked with FDA on identifying the right metrics, in addition to the ongoing dialogue within the industry, we realized that in order for the metrics program to work as intended, companies need to have a strong culture to support it. It is essential to ensure that metrics do not drive bad behaviors and are true measures of a company's product quality and quality systems. Industry, FDA, and other regulatory agencies recognize this and continue to talk about the importance of quality culture. And everyone acknowledges that it's very difficult to measure. It's also very difficult to change the culture of a company. It often takes years before results are seen. When PDA began this journey, we knew it would be a multi-year effort to understand quality culture. This includes understanding what the critical attributes are, how to measure them, how to improve the culture, and maintain it once the desirable quality culture has been achieved. We're happy to report that we have recruited 26 companies and about 50 sites to help pilot the PDA quality culture assessment tool. This is a great engagement for industry and a great start for PDA's journey. This is the first step to measuring quality culture. Our goal is to measure quality culture in a more objective way by assessing the mature quality attributes that are deemed important to quality culture. We took a data-driven approach to identify what those attributes are and try to see if they will be surrogates for quality culture behaviors. We surveyed PDA members in 2014 and it confirmed that there's a strong relationship between the mature quality attributes and objective measures like management review program, risk management program, and so on, and the quality culture behaviors. We identified the top 10 most significant attributes for quality culture using some statistical analysis and also received inputs from attendees at the PDS 2014 Metrics Conference. We used all this data to develop a quality culture assessment tool. The tool focuses on five categories, including leadership commitment, employee ownership, technical excellence, continuous improvement, and communication and collaboration for a total of 12 attributes and 24 sub-attributes. The on-site assessment tool focuses on objective measures so that a trained assessor can use the tool to objectively evaluate the quality culture maturity level of the site through interviews with the staff of all levels. Using this tool, a company can obtain a maturity assessment for each of the five categories and 12 attributes, creating a baseline. And the beauty of the tool is that it provides a structural way for a company to assess quality culture and identify areas for improvement. Since the tool identified the five maturity level for each sub-attribute, a company can use the tool as a roadmap to improve its quality culture. The survey is meant to be taken by all employees at the site. It's intended to measure staff behavior. For example, it asks if staff observe the leader of the site promotes continuous improvement. So far, we have received positive feedback on the pilot, and we plan to wrap it up by the third quarter of this year. We'd like to launch the tool in 2018 at the latest. We're planning some additional conferences and workshops so that company can share how they have used the tool to make improvements at their sites, and what has worked well, what hasn't. The team is also exploring building a database where PDA can continue to help industry benchmark quality culture and best practices. We welcome any idea from industry on what the team can do to help companies move the needle forward on quality culture.